Okay, and welcome back. So I'm going to talk to you about derivatives. And here I have an illustration that represents this function here. See, now in algebra you were taught the slope of a line is calculated by this formula. y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Well, let's pretend this is our x1, y1 and here is our x2, y2. Okay, so this would be, at this point right here, would be our y2, and this point right here would be our y1. And this right here would be our x1, and this would be our x2. Okay, so in calculus, this is replaced like this. This is called our f of x, and this is our x and what you're trying to do in calculus you're trying to find the slope of a point on a graph you see in algebra you have a straight line going through so it's easy to calculate so I'm going to show that right here okay so this slope would be easy to calculate but it wouldn't be exact for this point here. So what I'd have to do is I'd have to bring this point, slide it down farther, uh, closer and closer and closer and closer. So let's say the distance between here was a distance of h. Well, if this was x, that means this would be x plus h. Okay, so let me go ahead and write that in here. So this right here would be our x plus h. And that would be here. And that would be our x2. So that means that this y2 is now called f of x plus h. Okay? So the idea here is you want h to be closer and closer and closer to zero. You want the number to be approaching zero, meaning you want the number to be small, super tiny, so the point so that way eventually it becomes the same point. X. Okay. So in this case here this y2 is our f of x plus h minus our y1 which is f of x over x2 which is our x plus h minus our x and now if you cancel these out because positive and negative cancel you're left with this right here and this is called a derivative otherwise known as a difference quotient and the derivative is the limit of the difference quotient as h approaches zero. Let's say, for instance, we're given this equation, like I said, represented by this graph. The derivative is a function derived from a function. Okay, let me say that again. The derivative, that's why it's called derivative, because the word derive is in there, is derived from a function given. So think of a function like you plug in a number and it gives you a height in here. And think of the, the derivative, something that comes from this, kind of like, kind of like a sub-function of this thing, where when you plug a number into that, it'll give you the slope of that point. It'll give you the slope of the tangent line to that point. So watch. In this case here, you see how I got an approximation? When I plug this x into the derivative, it's going to give me the exact slope. So in this case here, the exact slope is going to look something like this. This is what I mean by a tangent line. You see, that would be the tangent line to this curve at this point. See, this red line here is not that accurate, but this one is really accurate. So first of all, this is called f prime. This is the Newtonian notation for derivative f prime of x is equal to, now, for every single x, I'm going to replace it with x plus h. So watch this. x plus h quantity squared, that represents this, minus 3 times x plus h plus 2 minus, and now I'm going to put this in bracket because a lot of people mess this up. Okay, and now this is the function f of x plus h minus 
f of x, which is this fun which is the actual function itself, x squared minus 3x plus 2, divided by, so I'll go ahead and write x plus h minus x. Okay, first of all, these are canceling out, so bam, bam, that's it. So that's where the h comes from. Okay, now, let me move this screen up a little bit more. So now what we want to do is expand this, distribute, and simplify the top. So we'll get f prime of x is equal to, and here you can use your square double square, squaring a binomial, which is going to be x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Distribute the negative 3 minus 3x minus 3h plus 2 and then here's where a lot of people make a mistake they just write minus x squared minus 3x plus 2 they actually just write minus and then write the rest of the function no it's minus the function itself so you have to distribute the minus sign here here and here so you're gonna get minus x squared plus 3x minus 2 and this is all over h okay so let's see I can cancel out my x squared with my negative x squared my negative 3x with my positive 3x and I can cancel out my positive 2 with my negative 2 and so I'm left with this f prime of x is equal to 2xh minus I'm gonna write I'm gonna write this first because what I want this to do eventually when h becomes zero I want everything to end up in descending powers of x so minus 3h plus h squared all over h now go ahead and factor out the h off the top so f prime of x is equal to 2x minus 3 plus h all over h. So my h's cancel out. Now as h approaches 0, it becomes 0. So I have 2x minus 3. And so my derivative is equal to 2x minus 3. So back to this function over here. Here's the point 2. So let's see what happens when I plug in a 2 into the derivative. So here's my derivative. At 2, so f prime of 2 is equal to 2 times 2 minus 3, which is equal to 4 minus 3, which is equal to 1. So that means at this point 2, my derivative is 1, and that's about right. I tried to draw this close to scale, so and that's, that's about right. That's 1. Now, if you were to actually plug in on f of x plus h a number a little bit bigger, like 2.1, well, in that case, you won't get such an exact answer. You'll get, you'll be a little bit past the one, you know, like 1.1. So that's basically what the derivative is. So I chose this function because it's somewhat easy, and this really wasn't an exercise to test your algebra skills. It's more just for you to understand what the derivative is. So anyway, I hope this helped. And again, just to kind of reiterate what's going on. So what you're going to do first is you're going to replace every term that has an x with an x plus h keeping the powers and the coefficients so in this case here x is be x squared is x plus h quantity squared minus 3 x which is 3 times the quantity x plus h and then plus 2 minus then put your brackets and then subtract the function itself okay and you can just write all over h because this will cancel out then you expand everything distribute where necessary cancel things out and simplify and finally factor out the h and try to put all of the x's in descending power then when you factor out the h cancel them out and whatever h's are left you basically just plug in a zero and then that is your derivative so later on you'll learn something called the power rule and that makes this so much easier uh, it's a shortcut for calculating the derivative but anyway i hope this helped and good luck with your homework and tests in the future thanks for watching